Hey guys, welcome to The Witch in Here. Today, we will be discussing what my YouTube channel name means and the folklore behind it. So, The Witch in Here, what does it mean and where does it come from? My name is inspired by places such as the Cat and Cage or the Pig and Heifer, often given to pubs, taverns and restaurants around Ireland. The witch part is a little obvious as I am a witch, a practitioner of magic, but the hair aspect of my name actually comes from Irish folklore. In Ireland, there are many versions of a tale where a woman taught to be a witch transforms into a hare, unlike many modern ideas of a witch transforming into a cat. Therefore, the wild hare is heavily associated with witches and witchcraft in Ireland. The hare within folklore represents diverse qualities such as cleverness, quickness, femininity, fertility, sexuality, and self-sacrifice, and is often associated with the moon and eternal life. In Irish, Osgwelga, a hare is known as Gioria, and a witch is known as Cailleach. There is a very common tale of a witch transforming into a hare with many variations in Ireland, but I'll give you an example of one. On May morning, the story begins with the farmer going to check on his cow. He discovers a wild hare stood on its hind legs, sucking all of the milk from his cow. It's important to note that milk was extremely valuable to the Irish. It was the difference between life and death, especially in winter. It was a symbol of wealth. The enraged farmer would then chase the hare. In some stories, the hare gets away and returns another day. But eventually, either with his gun or his hounds, the hare is injured in the leg and runs off into the woods. The farmer follows the hare until he comes across a small cottage. The farmer opens the door and walks inside, spotting a woman sitting by the fire. He notices that her leg is bleeding and concludes that this woman was a witch, transformed into a hare to steal his milk and in return steal his wealth. Stories like this caused many people to believe that during Bealtaine, hares found during this time were taught to be witches and were often stoned to death. Irish witches were often called butter witches, due to their associations with stealing milk and butter. Many protections against witches and witchcraft were put up around Bealtaine. Folk magic, such as nailing a horseshoe to the butter churn, or weaving branches of mountain ash around milk pails to protect their dairy, was believed to be very effective. In Ireland, the hare's association with women from the other world who could shapeshift also meant eating the hare's meat taboo. Hares believed to be witches were shot with silver bullets. Silver is believed to have power over the witch hare in Ireland, which possibly relates to the concept of the moon and the hare associations. Although a witch turning into an animal of sorts is a popular image today, it's very possible that the concept of a witch transforming into an animal has more to do with becoming or embodying the animal during trance or journeying to the other world. It is more of a spiritual transformation than a physical one. In the 17th century Scottish witch trials, a woman named Margaret Murray recited an incantation that allowed her to ritually transform into a hare by saying the following, I will go into a hare with sorrow and sigh and much care, and I shall go in the devil's name a while I come home again. And to return from the transformation, you'd say, Hare, hare, God send thee care. I am in a hare's likeness just now, but I shall be in a woman's likeness even now. I really hope that you found this interesting, and if you would like to learn a little bit more about the hare in general, as well as its folklore and mythology from all over the world, I recommend this book called The Leaping Hare by George Ewart Evans and David Thompson. It's a very insightful look into the animal's history. So, I hope you found this video interesting and learned something new from it. I will be making more videos on Irish folklore and folk magic in the future, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching, and any questions that you have, please leave them in the comments below. Pura mahagut,